Hi C, how are you doing today? Good. Good. Um, so today what we're going to be doing is we're working on some math strategies and we're going to solve this addition equation. What strategy are you going to use? Number line. Number line, you feel pretty confident with the number line? Yeah. Okay, let me see you. Let's go ahead. I want you to try to talk it out while you do it, okay? So, we know what number line usually looks like. So we, so we usually, um, if we, usually this is where we start from, this is where we start plus and this is where we start minus. Mm -hmm. I'm just starting here. Okay. Because I'm doing plus. So we usually start with the highest number because, it's, because it gets more easier, like, like four, 546. Mm -hmm. Then we plus like, like 200 equals 746 and the thing that the and it's why I do 200 because 200 because um because if we do a hundred I I'll, 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 I'll it will be easier but it will just take up like this I just I just I just knew what so it can just be faster with the plusing like I already knew I'm 5 plus 2 equals 7. It's okay. just like regular math. So you were saying that like you could you could have broken up that 200 right. into, what would you have broken it up into? Like 200s. Okay, so you could have broken it up into 200s, but it's easier just to do 200? Yeah. Now where did you get the 200 from? Um, I got it from um, the number 296. Oh, okay, so you have to look at the place values? Yes. Okay, all right. Can you look at what symbol you wrote on your number line? Um. Oh. <laughs> that's okay. I accidentally forgot on the cross. Yep, that's all right. I already knew that you meant addition, though. Okay, so you can keep going. So then we then we <clears throat> plus, like, an easy number. Like, we can plus, like, 60 and take it away from 90. Like, plus 60 will equal 806. So we minus this 9. So... 9 minus 6 Now, equals... I'm going to ask you to slow down just a little bit. So looking at this... Oh, okay. oh I forgot about the 0. Okay. Okay, so that's what I was going to ask you. So where did you get the 60 from, though? I got it from the 90. I, I, I minus 60 from it, so I haven't really figured out. Not, I haven't really figured out what it's... So I, it leaves me with... Um, 30 left of 90, okay, so, so we you, only have 36 left. Okay, so you broke down the 90, and what did yeah. you break it down into then? I broke it down into like um, 60, and I broke it down into 60 and 30. Okay, all right, so you can keep working. So now I'm plusing 30 because it's getting more easier. So that equals, of course, 836. And then we usually plus... Four, and that mm. will equal eight hundred forty. Now, why did you choose four and not three, two, one, or even six? Well, because it because if you plus six, it will be a little question, only a little bit um, it will be a little bit like um challenging. But I already know six plus six equals twelve. But I just want to make it. I just want to break it down for the little ones. Okay, thank you. And so what you actually did was you took the six and you added four because you knew six plus four equaled what? Ten. Okay, perfect. And then you, I like how you and had to go then, down there. And then I just um plus eight four two um whatever's left, and usually that's um. Two, and then we have 842. The answer is 800, no, wait a minute. 842. Okay, perfect. Now, um, do you feel as confident with subtraction on a number line as you did with the addition? Um, do you think no, you can try the subtraction? No. Subtraction is usually um, easier for me. Oh, you think it's easier? Okay, well, you want to try it? Sure. Okay, why don't you erase that for me, and then you can just copy that equation down. Well, because usually minus is better for me since me, me and my, this my teacher, um, Tara T C, um, taught me usually minus. That's our really goal. Okay, that's what you've been working on? Yes. Nice job.
So now we start where I told you the first time. Mm hmm Over here. And why do you have to start on this end of the number line? Well, because if if we go over here, it'll look like um, I'm going to plus 300. 275 to 351. Okay. So when you start at this end, it shows you that you're going to yes. be what? Minusing. Okay. So I already know what 3 plus 2 equals, which is 300 minus 200 equals 151. Now we break down um, 70. Mm -hmm. Like we broke down. Um, 90. Okay. So it can be more easier. So like we can break down um, 90, 70 to um, 5. Mm -hmm. Like 50. So I'm just going to break down 50 from it. Okay. I like that strategy. Minus 50. That makes it really Equals easy. 101. Mm -hmm. Now. I'm just going to now. I'm just going to work one from the five, so one, so mm. it can be one hundred. Oh, so you don't always have to go in order with yeah. hundreds, tens, ones. You can kind of mix it up to make yeah. it easier for you. Yes. Okay. So, so we have six. So we have four left of that, mm -hmm. and we have two left at seventy. So, just going to use that twenty. To minus from 100, so it can equal um, 80. And now, let's minus 4, and that equals um, 76. And the answer is 76. Well, I have to tell you, Steve, that might be one of the quickest ways I have seen to solve a subtraction equation yet. Thank you very much. Well, because if you use um, if you use a strategy, um, a lot of times you get used to it, and then you solve problems fast. Mm -hmm. And this is what you've mastered this strategy, yes. haven't you? All right. Well, thanks for sharing with us today. Thank you.